what is clutter? If you're going to declutter, you have to be able to answer that question. And if you can't answer what is clutter, then you might have just found the piece of the puzzle that is preventing you from decluttering your home. So let's dig in and figure that out. What is clutter? We talk a lot about decluttering and we try to declutter our homes and our lives and our calendars and our brains. <laughs> but when we start digging into that project, a particular problem trips us up. And the problem is knowing what clutter really is in order to declutter, you have to identify the clutter and then get rid of it. What, what constitutes clutter? How do we know which things are clutter and which things aren't? Today, we are going to talk about how to figure out what clutter is so that you can effectively and efficiently declutter your home. If you need to be decluttering your home, if you want to be managing your life better, you have found the right spot. Simply Convivial is all about managing our life and our home with a good attitude. So if you want more of that in your life, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, and give this video a thumbs up to help other people find it and to be notified when new videos go live. I like to start with definitions when talking about pretty much anything, because if we don't know what the words are that we're talking about, we really can't get very far and we're not going to get clear or become effective without knowing what it is we're really talking about. And when it comes to decluttering, what we're talking about is clutter. So what is clutter? It seems like it should be a simple answer, but it's a little bit tricky. It's easy to define clutter as something I don't want right here, but there's still the question, does it belong somewhere else? Is it something I ought to get rid of? How do I decide what is clutter and what isn't? Because if it's clutter, it needs to be decluttered, removed. To declutter a place, whether the place be your closet or your head, to declutter it means to remove the clutter. So what is clutter? Clutter is something that doesn't belong. It is simple. It turns out identifying what is clutter is simple when we look at small areas that we are working to declutter. Does this particular thing belong here? If the answer is no, it needs to go out. Now the tricky part comes in because even though the thing, whatever the thing is, might not belong where it currently is, where we're currently working on decluttering, that doesn't mean that it has no place, that it doesn't belong anywhere, that it's trash. If you had wooden spoons and your crock pot in your bedroom closet, it would be clutter because it doesn't belong there. Those exact same things in the kitchen are not clutter because they belong there. Now, maybe they might be clutter. The wooden spoons might be clutter if they were in the silverware drawer, but not clutter if they're in the utensil container. The crock pot might be clutter if it's on the counter and not being used, but it's not clutter if it's on the counter being used or if it is in the drawer or cupboard or closet where it belongs when it's not in use. So in order 
to determine whether or not a thing is clutter. What we really need to figure out is where does this belong? We have so many things in our homes where that's a complicated question to answer, or it's just a question we've never actually thought about answering. We just keep moving things from one place to another. And if we're decluttering one area and we take the things out of there and move them to a different area, we're just moving clutter around because we are not addressing where the thing belongs. We are just moving clutter, not decluttering anything, really. We need to address that question of where does the thing belong? Then put it there. <laughs> and then it's decluttered because it's in a place where it is not clutter. And of course, the place where it belongs might be someone else's house. Uh, library books that are overdue belong at the library, not at my house. So to declutter my house from library books means to return them to the library where they do belong. And trash belongs in the garbage can. It is not clutter if it's moved from the floor, the surface, the pockets, the purse, and moved to the garbage can where it's gonna go out of the house, where trash goes. Any of these kinds of moving things around where we're moving things from a place where it doesn't belong to the place where it does belong, that's effective decluttering. And it entails figuring out where things homes are. It might be a big decision to make or just a, an overwhelming number of decisions to make, but it's in making those decisions about where things belong, where you're going to start seeing real progress in the decluttering project in your home. Because it will put that mental pressure of clutter to rest in a way that just moving things does not. The real pressure does boil down to being responsible for the thing and knowing where it belongs and putting it there. This question also really helps in areas like uh, kids' bedrooms or playrooms, those places that we just really want to ignore and forget about. If we go into the room that we don't want to confront because it's just a chaotic mess, that feeling of it being a chaotic mess, of, of being unmanageable, is a mental vagueness that we use to gloss over the real problem because you can't actually do anything about a chaotic mess. Those are, it's an unmanageable sort of thing and it feels unmanageable, so we call it unmanageable. If we identified what the real problem was in a clear, specific, concrete way, you know, that would mean that we would know what to do about it. And we would then have some responsibility to take some action steps there and, and do it. <laughs> And so sometimes that vague feeling of overwhelm or of chaos is really just uh, a way of excusing ourselves from dealing with what's going on. If we go into that room that we feel we can't get a grip on, that is totally overwhelming us, and we say, what is here that does not belong here. If you just start gathering that stuff up in a laundry basket, a big moving box, removing some of that stuff from the space. Then the next question becomes, of the things that do belong in this room, do they have a space to belong? You know, if it's a bedroom and it's clothes, is there enough space? For the clothes to be put in the drawer or the closet. If there are books, are there enough shelves for the books? Are there enough spaces in the closet or hooks on the wall or containers of other kinds for the things that really do need to belong in the room? 
And if there isn't, then that becomes the project is giving the things a home in the room where they do belong. And that sounds simple, but it is a lot of work and it will take time and it will take trial and error to figure out, but it's doable and actionable and we can start taking baby steps forward in making a dent and getting some progress going in really effectively decluttering our homes. I really do love to talk decluttering and I would love to help you get decluttering done. Not accomplished and checked off, but done over and over again. Doable. I would like decluttering to be doable because it can be and it is. It's not a hopeless job. It can actually be fun. So this workshop right here is a free decluttering workshop that will help you figure out how to get decluttering into your routine, just like meals and laundry. It's practical, fun, and helpful. Check it out and stick around next time for more decluttering talk as we organize and declutter not only our homes, but also our attitudes.